Hey guys, welcome to another Tegan Productions video. I'm Tegan coming at you with another video for you guys this time. I've got my Rogue One minifigure showcase for you guys, finally, or at least part one of it. Now, I do apologize for not doing this earlier, like before Rogue One or like in December. I didn't get the minifigures or the set until like Christmas, so I've been spending time on and off working on these minifigures as well as other minifigures as well. But I finally got part one for you guys. So I've got Jin, Cassian, Girard, Ace, uh, Bodhi, and Gayla Nurso. So without further ado, let's have a look at these minifigures. So we, here we have Jin, and first up, I want to say these minifigures are inspired from Lego Magic 9 and Michael and GF's minifigures. So I just want to give credit to them straight away for the inspiration for some of these minifigures. So links to their channels in the comments below. I also want to say a huge thank you to my buddy LEGO Studio 4 because he sculpted this uh, back of the hairpiece for Jin for me because I had the hairpiece and I cut off the back and I I don't really sculpt a lot like I think the only other time I've actually sculpted like something on my YouTube channel was like an earlier version of Rosita which just failed miserably so yeah I asked him to sculpt this for me and he did he also went over in his own brown paint just to match everything up, so it turned out really well, and yeah, so thanks a lot, Leon. So, yeah, we'll start off with her accessory. Now, with her, I think it's an A180 pistol, I was trying to, like, do what, uh, like, some people have done with the Luger. They both failed miserably, so I just used, like, what uh, Michael and Jeff did with the uh, uh, normal like Star Wars Blaster and just modified it so yeah it turned out really good and I think I'll just keep this because I was thinking about maybe getting another Luger or something but I th think I'll just keep this so yeah so the head's just the normal face from the set it's got the grey shirt underneath and I did it in the Jedi outfit so she's got the other vest so the, I couldn't really see what was on her like jacket so I just did the green what you see there and then got a Cape Madness vest which the Cape Madness sort of took about two weeks to ship in so that was another thing that happened to because I wanted to have this done earlier but it took a couple of weeks for the Cape Madness to ship and stuff so yeah I added on bits of cardboard to be her belt and that other little pocket and stuff at the top got the yellow uh, stripes dark brown gloves now I finished this up tonight, the belt, so we've got one piece coming around there. Got the gun holster and then it continues back up and around and whatnot. Add on her boots and then I add on the four little dots there. Now I didn't realise until like just before that she has this other little bit on her leg, like another belt bit. So I went around and glued on some more fabric, which looks alright. Like, it does look a bit messy up at the back here, but that's right. I'm not, I'm pretty much going to be having a displayed face on, so it's not too much of a worry. It could be better, though, but, yeah. I'll give you one last 360 of Jin Erso. So, yeah, she was a really cool character in the movie. I'll let me know what, what you think of her in the comments below. So here we have Cassian Andor, and he, I was originally going to have him in, like, three different outfit kind of thing. I was going to have him like this. And I was going to have like his black vest that he wore over the top of this brown jacket throughout the movie. And then have him with just the tan shirt. But I decided against that because I didn't like the way how the vest came out. And it didn't really fit on properly. So I just left it like this. Which still looks really cool. Now the, the weapon I gave him was this rifle that he had on Eardu and on Scarif. It's just that sniper rifle that he had. So, it was made out of just a normal brick arm sniper. I then cut down the barrel. This is actually from one of the Lego rifles. I just edited everything and stuff. I cut down the mag and, yeah. I like how this came out and I might make his pistol as well. So, yeah. Now, this was got a Cape Madness AR jacket as well. So, all I did was went over in like a brown colour. Added on these 3D card pieces for his pockets and this other little silver bit up top. Got his zip and he's got the other pocket and the other little silver badge thing. Got his yellow stripes and then he's just got the back detail and everything. On the back he's just got his belt, 
continue around. It's not the best because that was just another bit of fabric that was going over the top. Looks all right. Now I was going to have the little silver bits that he has in the back on the belt there, but they didn't turn out well, so I just left them off. Front of the torso turned out really well in my opinion. It's the first thing I did on this minifigure, so it's just a light tan torso with all its details. Got his brown belt at the bottom there. Now this belt was from another bit of fabric, so I think it was from a different. Wasn't from Cape Man. This was from an like an eBay seller, which I'll leave a link. Things from Capes for you. It's one of the, his capes or trench coats, which I cut down the size and stuff. So yeah, added on the belt buckle and whatnot, and then I added on like a holster on the side there. So yeah, it hangs down, and it's just got some leg details, which go on all four sides, but the legs are glued, so I can't really move them. So, yeah. And then just some brown boots. So I really like how this minifigure turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's move on to Trot Enway. So here we have Trot Enway and he was the very first Rogue One minifigure that I fully completed. So I really do like how this turned out. So yeah, his staff is pretty much, I think it was like a spear. I don't know, I got it from a trade with LEGO Studio 4. And I cut off the spear, I cut down like a lightsaber hilt, went over in silver there, here, and that's what I pretty much did for the staff. Turned out alright, but yeah, I like how it turned out, so. Yeah. Now, onto the minifigure, all I really did, I didn't do anything on the face. The Widow's Peak, I cut off the actual Widow's Peak. And this is actually Lego Official's torso, which I just went over the straps and card, so to make him 3D. Got the buckle there. Another little thing up at the top there. All these other little stuff there. And I've also got this other, I don't know what it was that he had hanging off. So I just added on, that on there. Got the other little belt. And on the back, it's got the continuation of the straps. And then it's got a little bit of some cape. And then it's got the continuation of everything up there. And then on the arm, it's got a white... Like strap coming up here, the gauntlet, and then the other thing on his hand. And I do have his waist cape, so if I do take this off. So what I did was I've got a couple of bits of Cape Madness waist cape. So I've got this black waist cape, which I, or I didn't really do anything to. But with this red one, I actually just cut it down to look like this. And it's just plain black legs underneath. So I really do love how this minifigure came up. I think he might be my second or third favourite. So I reckon my top three would have to be Bodhi, Jin, like probably Jin, Bodhi, and maybe this guy. I don't know, I just love all these minifigures, but yeah. So I'll find his staff, give you one 360 look, and he does, of course, have his alternate expression, so yeah. Now I might make his light bow in the future, but for the moment I'll just keep him with his staff, so... Yeah. Now let's move on to Bayes Melbus. Bayes Melbus. Now, this guy was a pain to do. And, yeah. Just gonna say that. Now, he was the second minifigure I made. But, yeah, I didn't finish his gun until tonight. But the actual figure I had done for a while now. So, I sculpted on this armor piece. Now, I barely sculpted, like I said before. But I really do like how this came out. So, yeah. Obviously, I went over in red. The dark tan. And that. Now, this is just like a bit of an elastic band. And like a top of a antenna piece. To be like this other bit that he had on top. So, yeah. Now, he's gone. I just want to get this out of the way. This is made out of a core burner. And I pretty much used bits. I sanded it down. These are all card that I went over with, with adding on the detail, went over in silver, added on the red stripes and everything, so yeah. I pretty much used card here just to square it off, so yeah. Now, with his strap, I haven't glued it into the back yet, but I did have these other bits of cards to be like the other little things that he had on the chain, but they've all fallen off, so, because there's one back here. So I had like multiple bits of these 
that I had going all across the chain. But like I said, they all fell off. So I will put them back on and I will glue them on and I'll probably glue this into the actual barrel on the back here. So I will do that, but just for the time being, I've just got the main strap. So that's the gun out of the way. So you can see he's got this other little pouch thing up here. You've got the other belt that comes around. And then he's got his belt there, the silver and the dark gray uh, belt pieces. Now this leg piece is actually 3D as well. So I used a bit of card and then added that on. This is just the leg from the minifigure. All I really did was add on the boot. His arm, I'll move this. Actually, I can't move that, so I'll leave that on. His arm, he's got his shoulder pad up here. With this other red bit down the bottom. And over here, I've just got the red. There's all the details continuing around. He's got this cape bit. Now there is a bit of clay here just to hold this up, which this is super glued onto, and I think the hair piece is now glued. So, yeah. Now this is just a one by one cylinder piece with like a one by one circular tile on top. Add a bit of silver around here. And this is actually a batten, like a brick arms batten, which I glued onto the side here. So this is very fragile because it did fall off a few times. So I, find, I think I've glued it on where it won't fall off and I think that's why I can't oh no I can take this off I can move it but I don't want to break this because this is very delicate but yeah it's got the continuation of the boots and everything so yeah that's pretty much Bay's Malbus as I said I will fix up his chain because I do want to add on you know, everything else and I will glue it in here so yeah now let's go have a look at Bodie Rook so here we have Bodie Rook and he has to be my second favorite minifigure out of the bunch because I really love how the details, like how everything came out. So yeah, I pretty much gave him just an E11 blast because I didn't know what else to give him. So yeah. I'll start off with his hair, it's just the Canyon hair piece that you get in the set. Now this is actually some Brick Arms goggles which is actually a rubber thing. I cut out like lenses which was kind of a pain to do. Then I just added on like a 3D strap going, no, a 2D strap going around. So, yeah. Because the electrical tape wasn't working with me. So, yeah. I used like a cloth, like some cloth from a Cape Madness over cape. And I glued it onto the torso. So this is actually the printed torso, which I just glued this onto. This is a bit of an antenna, which I cut down and went over in silver. I got all the different pouches the bronze colored zip down there and the back's just got these other little pouches plus these straps coming up the back which is out of card and yeah on here it's just this is made out of card with the brown and the silver and these are my best attempts to try and do the imperial logos so I will go and like print out like a decal because I don't like how my like these were alright for my best attempts but I will probably go print out some decals to glue on. It's got a like little pocket down there. The legs are pretty simple. Just got some pockets, some wrinkles and just some brown shoes. So yeah, all in all, he has to be one of my favourite minifigures out of the bunch. So probably my second or third. Because yeah, like I said, I really like how this guy came out. Last but not least we have Galen Urso. Now I pretty much just made him like just before recording because I wanted to have like another minifigure and so that way my next showcase I've got like five or six so it's kind of evened out a little bit so yeah so Galen turned out really well in my opinion it, he's pretty much on like a dark grey torso and everything so yeah he's got some white up the top here which he had on Eardu he's got some white and the white details he's got some flesh showing up the top now, it's also got these little pen markings or whatever they are. So I'll zoom in a little bit. It's got these other two little things up at the top there. Got some other detail like creases and stuff. Got like a black belt with the silver belt buckle. Nothing on the arms, just dark grey. It's got pretty much stripes and black boots. And on the back, he's just got the continuation of the boots. Just some other details. And just this little back printing. 
for the time being I've just got this black Anakin Skywalker hair piece I will probably try and get another grey one and put on him now, this face I'm not really sure what it's off it, it was from the BVS Batmobile set on one of the Lex Luthor's henchmen which all I did was added on some wrinkles and cheekbones went over and redid the eyebrows and then added some wrinkles underneath his eyes so yeah the face turned out real well in my opinion let me know what you think of the face so yeah that's pretty much it for Gal uh, so I didn't give him an accessory because I didn't think he needed one since we didn't really see him use anything so yeah that's pretty much it for this like minifigure showcase let's go wrap up so thank you guys for watching this video and I really do hope you enjoyed it again sorry for being so late but these figures did take a while plus I was waiting on a couple of orders so yeah now don't know when part 2 will be but I do know that in part 2 we'll have Krennic a death trooper an imperial hover tank driver shore trooper and Kate Tueso so yeah now I think my next video will be on custom Lego oh my I return the Jedi Luke Skywalker and then after that might be my Frasier showcase yeah so look forward to that let me know in the comments below which is your favorite now a link to Lego Matic 9 my Clem Jeff and Lego Studio 4 will be in the description below so yeah but thank you guys for watching please comment like subscribe share for more and I'll see you guys next time bye